Well, that's been a windy old path, but I'm quite happy. I think I've come about nine kilometers, which means it'll be an easy journey to get to camp tomorrow. But now, I think about 4 p.m., it's time to set up camp before it gets dark. Because in the jungle, the sun seems to go straight out. It's like God turns off the lights. When I'm hiking in the jungle, I always use a simple system, a lightweight tarpaulin to keep the rain off and a hammock to get me off the ground away from snakes and wild animals. The most important piece of equipment is a mosquito net. I've had malaria twice, a truly miserable experience best avoided. I always use insect repellents with high concentrations of DEET, as well as taking anti-malarial drugs. Oh, it's great. Lovely to take the weight off your feet at the end of a good day's hike. But unfortunately, I can't put my feet up just yet. I've got firewood to collect and dinner to put on. I can tell you something, I'm hungry. Wood in the rainforest is often wet, so finding dry tinder can be very difficult indeed. So what I do is I always carry a little bag like this with me in the rainforest. And in here, I've got a lighter and some little bits of rubber tire cut into thin strips. Doesn't matter if that gets wet and that'll burn really well to start my fire off. That amazing sound is a howler monkey. It's experiences like these that keep drawing me back to the rainforest. But of course, to the uninitiated, a sound like that, coupled with the gloom and darkness of the forest, can make the whole place seem intimidating. In fact, on my way in here, I met a Costa Rican park ranger who told me a very sad story about a husband and wife who came hiking in here not so long ago. They'd only been on the trail for about an hour and they decided to leave it and go into the forest and their wife twisted her ankle. Well, only an hour from the ranger station, naturally, her husband set off back for help, but he made a critical error. He forgot to note down exactly where she was. It took them three weeks to find her. By then, she was dead.